Hey guys, it's Sammy B. Today I will be showing you this look right here. It's an icy blue smoky eye. So let's get started. Alright, first I'm going to start this look off with a champagne base from my Ulta Beauty Box. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And I'm just going to apply this very lightly. Next, I'm taking a icy blue color from the same beauty box, and I'm applying that right over the base. This doesn't look blue, but I promise it is, and it does not have to be perfect. We're just applying this as a starting point for later. Next, with a fluffy pencil brush and a slate gray eyeshadow, I am applying this color in my crease. And you don't want to blend it out too far, but you do want to blend it out just a little bit so it's a nice smoky look. Next, with a dark gray eyeshadow, this one's almost black but not quite, I'm going to apply this in the same spot, but I'm not going to blend it out as far. And I'm also going to take this along my lower lash line. Next, with a matte black color, I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it in my crease and I'm not going to blend this out at all because I just want it to be very light and subtle for some dimension and depth to my eyes. Next I'm taking the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the Color Celebration which is one of my favorite things on earth and I'm just going to apply this on my lid and in the inner corner and then with whatever is left on my finger I'm just going to apply it to the lower lash line and brow bone. Next, I'm taking that same icy blue color as before, and I'm just going to apply that on my lid right over Celebration. Next, I'm taking a matte white color, and I'm applying this in the inner corners. And I just liked the matte because um, I didn't want too much sparkle, but I still wanted Celebration to come through. And I'm also going to take this on the brow bone too. Next, I'm taking NYC Coal Eyeliner in 921 Jet Black. And I'm just going to line my eyes like I normally do, which is just very um, light, lightly and blend it out. Next, with an eyeshadow brush, I'm taking that same slate gray as earlier and applying that on the lower lash line. And now the mascara I'm using is Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. And I'm just going to apply that to my upper and lower lashes. Now my bronzer is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is my daily bronzer. This is my go-to bronzer, and I'm just going to apply that where I would normally contour, and it looks like I have a lot on, but I really don't. Um, it's just the way my hair is and the lighting, it just looks like way more than it is. And I'm going to apply that along the edges of my nose too, and then I'm going to wipe my brush off and just blend everything out. Next, I'm taking Studio Elf Blush in the color of Blushing Rose, which is this pretty pink maroon color, and I'm just applying that along the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm taking Lorax Spotlight Highlighter in Perfectly Lit, and I'm just going to apply this color on the high points of my cheeks. Um, along my forehead, across the bridge of my nose, on my upper lip, and on my chin. Next, I'm taking Makeup Forever's lipstick in Rouge Artist Natural, which is this pretty pink color. It's almost the same color as my lips, which is why I love it. And I'm just going to apply that as normal. Now I'm taking this Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in the color 350 Jewel in the Crown, 
and I found this at Target a while back and I have three colors of this particular gloss and I love it. And I'm just going to apply that and that's the end of the look. Don't forget to go to SammyBaxterArt.com for more videos, blog posts, and reviews. Thanks guys! Bye!